Hi, welcome to some formation. Our today's topic is Anaconda or water boa. Hidden in the dense tropical forests of Amazon, there is a giant creature called Anaconda or water boa. These snakes inhabit the rainforest and wetlands of South America. Although movies and books portray them more terrifying than they really are, anacondas are extremely important for their ecosystem. They control the population of herbivores by preying on them. Otherwise, the herbivores will overpopulate and destroy the green vegetation. The biggest among these giant snakes are the green anacondas. Its scientific name is Eunectus murinus, which means good swimmers. The green anaconda is one of the largest and heaviest snake in this world. We are still not sure how big they can get, but some eyewitnesses claim they can be longer than 20 feet and weigh up to 200 kilos. Green anaconda can be identified with their distinct olive green color with oval spots on their back. These patterns help them hide in shadowy murky water like swamps and flooded areas. Anacondas spend most of their time in or near water. Their eyes and nose are on the top of their head which means they can stay completely underwater and still breathe while keeping an eye on their prey. An anaconda can stay still for hours or days to catch prey. They generally hunt animals like capybara, deer, piccary or even jaguar. They have special curved teeth in their mouth made to hold prey. So once captured, it is impossible to get away. Many people think that anacondas crush their prey's bone, but that is not true. They use a totally different kind of method called constriction. Every time the animal breathes out, the snake squeezes its coils tighter. This stops the animal from breathing in and stops its blood flow. And eventually the animal dies from the lack of air or heart failure. And after the prey is dead, anaconda swallows it whole. Anaconda's jaws are connected by stretchy bands, so its mouth can open incredibly wide. A special windpipe lets the snake breathe, even while it's swallowing its prey. This allows the anaconda to swallow animals way bigger than its size. A large meal can provide nutrition to an anaconda for weeks or even months. Other kinds of anacondas, like the yellow anaconda, it lives further south in places like Paraguay, Bolivia and Argentina. It is smaller than green anaconda, usually 10 to 14 feet long and has bright yellow-green skin with black spots. The dark-spotted anaconda lives in northeastern Brazil and nearby coastal area. The Bolivian anaconda found more recently looks like a mix of both green and yellow anaconda. Anacondas usually live alone, but once in a while they come together to mate. The females are often bigger than the males and they attract many partners at once. This can create a breeding ball, which is a big group of males wrapped around one female trying to mate with her. Anacondas are ovoviviparous. This means the mother keeps the eggs inside her body until they hatch, then she gives birth to baby snakes. She can have from a few to many dozen babies at a time, and each baby knows how to survive on its own from birth. But young anacondas are in danger from other animals, like big snakes, caimans, and big birds. There are many stories about anacondas eating or hurting people. But even though big anacondas can kill a person, it rarely happens. People are not their usual food, and these snakes try to stay away from humans. Sadly, anacondas are in danger for what people do. When forests are cut down for farming or building, anacondas lose their habitat. Pollution is also very harmful for these snakes. And sometimes people kill them because they are afraid or want their skin. So you can say, we are more harmful for them than they are to us. If you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a comment and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We will meet you soon with a brand new video.